Tonight, developers are now making a last-ditch effort to save the Justice Center. It's a story we broke today at noon. They're hoping enough city county council members will back the changes. And our City Beat reporter Mary Mills is here now to tell us we could know more after next Monday's council meeting. Mary? Well, that's right. And a key supporter, Sheriff John Layton, just came out against the changes. So did Council President Maggie Lewis. Both say everything should be put on hold until after the November election. WMB Heartland Justice Partners, though, is still working hard to sell the revised plan, which is outlined here. The proposed criminal justice center would still be built here on the site of the old GM stamping plant, but it would be smaller and less expensive. The revised plan cuts the number of jail beds by 448. It reduces the number of courtrooms, but still adds 11 more than there are now, and it combines the courthouse and sheriff's office into one building instead of two, with a chance to expand later. WMB says those changes, along with a few others, would cut design and construction costs by $17.5 million, and it would cut the cost to finance the project by $31 million over 20 years. But WMB warns if the council doesn't sign off by June 8th, construction costs will rise and so will financing. The city's option to acquire the GM stamping plant will expire, Plus, the city won't be able to use a project labor agreement given the new law that takes effect July 1st. And a spokesperson for the mayor says they're still reviewing the changes, but they appear to be a positive step. Several counselors, though, wonder if the changes constitute a new proposal, and if so, wouldn't the city have to reopen the bidding process? And Republican Ben Hunter wants to know why now? Why wait until the 11th hour? on such a huge project. He does, though, hope it comes up for a vote on Monday, and several people do think that this is going to be down to a single vote. My goodness, so much debate about this process. It's been such a long oh, process. Yeah, it really has been. Thank you, Mary.